Natural climate solutions are actions driven by nature that either reduce greenhouse gas emissions or sequester greenhouse gas emissions. And they come in the form of protecting, managing, or restoring nature. So that could be with forests, it could be with peatlands, it could be in the soil, it could actually be in the ocean as well. So while we know that we absolutely need to solve climate change and avoid the devastating impacts of not doing so, we also need to address nature because absent doing that, we won't have a warm planet, but it still won't be one that we can support our lives and livelihood. Natural climate solutions are a really important piece of the portfolio we need to get on a one and a half degree pathway. And th that's because they're proven uh, and they have multiple co-benefits. And what I mean by co-benefits are if, if we properly preserve the rainforest, that has benefits on biodiversity. It has benefits on water. It has benefits on clean air. If we sequester carbon in the soil and farms, that improves the soil. And all of these actions also have the potential to help individuals because they occur at a local level, and a local level where most of the potential for natural climate solutions actually occurs in the global south. We effectively have an undervalued asset in terms of natural climate solutions and nature in parts of the world. And if we recognize that value, it creates opportunities for people in the global south. I'd also just add that there are plenty of studies that show the benefits for people's mental health of spending time in nature. And so I think it is important to preserve nature uh, for those benefits that may be less quantifiable or less tangible uh, to some, but are proven. We need a broad range of options to remove carbon from the atmosphere. Uh, this is a difficult problem to solve, and we're not going to solve it with technology or nature alone. Natural climate solutions in many cases can be lower cost than technologies that are available today. By the end of the decade, we see potential for seven gigatons of annual carbon removal through natural climate solutions out of the target of 23 gigatons a year that we need to be on the one and a half degree pathway. We can see very clearly to a pathway where almost a third of the required uh, removals that we need can come from natural climate solutions. In order to scale natural climate solutions, there are a few things that we need to get right. First, uh, the demand signal needs to be loud and clear and a recognition that natural climate solutions are part of the solution we need to reach net zero. Second, th there's a fair amount that needs to be sorted with respect to the process. We have carbon market architecture that's being formed now and the role that natural climate solutions play in that carbon market architecture is still not perfectly defined. Uh, and it's been a long journey to figure that out. Third, th there's a long history here of different parties trying to determine the validity of natural climate solutions as part of the net zero pathway. In order to get beyond the debates that we've had, there needs to be increasing building trust amongst multiple parties, whether it's NGOs themselves, companies, government actors. We, we need folks to come together and recognize the importance of getting this right and getting this right soon so that uh, capital can flow to natural climate solutions as part of a net zero pathway. <laughs>